Hey YouTube, Apostle Stacy, and I am coming back to answer more questions from you, the viewers. Uh, so I ended the last video um, about to answer a question and I decided to uh, record uh, another separate video for this one simply because I know this one may um, involve me going a little bit deeper and I didn't want the length of the video, you know, to kind of run too much, even though I am able Praise God to go over the 15 minutes that you took YouTube normally allows. I still kind of want to be uh, mindful of your time, okay? So uh, I wanted to come back. Now, again, I'll read the question. Um, she said, what is your definition of an evangelist? Um, and she said, could you please tell me um, your definition? Because I have been given many different meanings. I was telling a lady that I had met a couple of months ago that I felt like I wanted to be an ordained street evangelist. And she kind of had a look on her face like I was beneath her. Everyone is caught up in having a big title today. I feel like the Lord is telling me to go out into the highways and the byways to preach. And if I never get behind the pulpit to preach or make it to being a pastor, then that's okay with me. It's like no one else is wanting the title of an evangelist anymore. And as I began to say on the last video, this is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. This is something that the Lord has really, really been dealing with me about. And if you can even see from some of the nature of the video, some of the subject of the videos that I've been recording recently, it's geared to, toward evangelism. It's geared toward soul winning. It's geared toward telling, telling people that Jesus Christ is coming back and that there is a reality in heaven and in hell. There are people who don't believe in hell these days. There are people who don't believe that Jesus Christ is coming back. I even had someone, and God bless you, I pray that you um, get that together real soon, commented on the video that I made uh, that heaven is a delusion and whatever they said. And my, my heart really breaks for people who really feel like uh, religion is a figment of our imagination because Jesus Christ is so real. And here is uh, what I want to say to you. If you believe that the Lord is tugging you and pulling you in the direction of evangelism, obey the Lord, seek the Lord, study the scriptures. Amen. Get well versed in the scriptures that talk about salvation. Amen. Please don't let anyone hinder you. Please don't let a piece of paper or a certificate or a formal title stop you from sharing the gospel. Um, Kurt Cameron, Kurt Cameron of the Way of the Cross, they have an awesome evangelism ministry that I feel is second to none. Although we may disagree doctrinally with something point with certain points. I am apostolic by doctrine. Um, and so we we disagree doctrinally. I believe that he does a wonderful job in introducing Christ to people. Amen. I believe he does a wonderful job giving tips, giving tools. Give, I think it's um, the way of the master. You can go on their website or Google them. Um, the show comes on um, and, and they give excellent evangelism strategy that anyone, preacher, layman, whoever who love God, whosoever will, anybody that love God should be able to follow. Um, they are excellent. I believe that if there ever were um, modern day 21st century evangelists to the church, I believe that they are doing an awesome job with getting the good news out. Okay, so like I said, even though there are some doctrinal issues that we may not agree on, I still think they're doing a wonderful job leading souls to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Um, so don't let anyone stop you from evangelizing. Now I'm going to tell you the truth. You ready for the truth? It's the truth. The truth is a lot of Christians really love God, but they are lazy. Yeah. I have been guilty of it myself when the Holy Spirit clearly illuminated a way for me to witness to someone. And instead, I just, well, they don't want to hear it. Or I convinced myself that, you know, Maybe another time. And I had to repent for that. Because that's a soul. That could have been one to the kingdom of God. But we get so comfortable in who we are. Like you said. I just have to agree with you. So lift it up in these titles. 
And many times we really forget about the reason that we're saved to begin with. To reconcile man back to God. That's our purpose in the earth. Once we've been reconciled to win other souls into the kingdom of God. It's that simple. Um, so what I want to say. Don't worry about those who may be frightened. Now, she may have frowned um, or looked kind of funny. Because technically, you don't have to be ordained to go out into the streets to witness. So I wouldn't take offense to that. Um, but she may have, you know, just kind of gotten it a little wrong or may not have understood where your passion is. Now, I do highly suggest that you receive some type of training um, because there are all types of people out in the world. And when you go out in the street to minister, you need to be prepared for various scenarios, different type of personalities. Um, make sure you're doing um, operating in wisdom when you're going out, okay? I remember I um, did a course not very long ago about prophetic evangelism. Um, did a course um, a while back now when I was an evangelist by title um, and I was definitely confirmed to the office of evangelism um, back in the earlier you know years of my ministry I was evangelist some people still call me evangelist that's all right because I am the evangelist not just an evangelist but I am evangelist um, we all are anybody that say feel the Holy Ghost you were given the Holy Ghost so that you could have power to be witnesses Okay, that's one little nugget for you there. Um, but I do recommend you receiving formal training. I really do. Simply because it will prepare you more for the scenarios you may face when you're out there doing street ministry. I don't um, recommend you go alone. I, I, I highly suggest team ministry. So those are just some tips that I would like to offer that you go Bible said he sent them out two by two, okay? So I would suggest that you take someone along with you just for your own personal safety sake. Yes, the Lord is your shepherd, honey. But wisdom says take somebody along with you. Someone that can help you. Someone that can pray for you. Someone that can watch for you. Because warfare on the evangelism field is nothing to play with, okay? Um, and I would not want you to become just bombarded and overwhelmed when you're uh, not necessarily prepared uh, to go out, okay? But if you want to become a licensed evangelist, go for it, baby. If where you are does not provide that type of training, then ask the Lord to show you someone who will, okay? Pray about it. Go to your pastor, amen? Go to your spiritually. Don't just stop with one person. They looked at me crazy, too. And I just kept right on going. Amen. Okay. So be encouraged and seek that which you feel the Lord tugging at your heart to do. You had another question. Um, you said um, when I was watching your video, another question came to me, and that is, where in the teaching, where is the teaching in the church these days? Um, I have noticed that the churches that I have attended here have no classes on teaching people about their gifts, how to use them. They are, there are no classes on how to be an effective witness for Christ or soul winning. There are no classes about laying hands on people, etc. The only classes that are being taught these days is how to gain prosperity, and it is sad. Where is your church located? <laughs> and do you have any teaching classes in your church? Because if so, I might have to move to where you are. All right, let's uh, work with what you have asked. Firstly, I do not pastor right now. No, I don't pastor right now. I have pastored. I have been the pastor, the senior pastor over a congregation. Right now, I'm not pastoring. I'm strictly um, traveling, doing the work of the ministry for now. Maybe later, I will open up another door and allow me to pastor Right now, I'm strictly doing ministry, helping out churches, churches that the Lord sends me to, uh, some here in the city, some otherwise. Amen. That's about all I'm going to go into about that long story as to why I'm not pastoring right now. You don't have to read the book. God bless you. No, no seriously, though, um, I'm not pastoring right now. So 
you can't necessarily visit the church that I pastor, but you can most definitely become involved in the ministries that the Lord has allowed me to found and the ones that the Lord has allowed me to be the overseer of. There are many awesome ministries in the body of Christ that are providing teaching for the saints, equipping. Many of them are online. All kinds of articles that you can read online. Make sure though that they are grounded in the word of God and make sure that um, if you don't trust that uh, something is being said that is quite right that you ask questions because there's a whole lot of teaching out here so you do need spiritual discernment to discern what is sound doctrine what is sound teaching and what is not and if you'd like I can recommend some things um, there are some things that I have done even through YouTube or even otherwise on the internet there are things that I have written uh, concerning evangelism concerning uh, the different gifts of the spirit um, years ago I did have a prophetic training course where we explored in detail all the gifts of the five-fold ministry and that was an awesome course um, if I'm not mistaken you can still go to blog talk radio google my name and you still probably can uh, find those courses the name of uh, that is prophetic company so if you go to prophetic company even if you type in prophetic company on youtube you may be able to uh, pull up some teachings that i did a while back so google prophetic company um a teaching or something like that and if you see my name attached to it then you know that it's something that my ministry has sponsored in times past uh, maybe god will open up the door for me to do some online teaching again but right now my schedule is as such uh, with traveling and other responsibilities that I have offline that I'm not able to commit to teaching a weekly course in doing that, which is one reason why I'm not pastoring right now. Um, however, um, why don't you express your genuine desire to your leadership to see those types of courses being offered? Sometimes leaders won't know what's needed unless you simply ask. You know, I, Pastor, I would like to learn about this can we talk about this in bible study or is there a course or are there any ministries that you recommend do you have any friends because chances are i mean every preacher has preacher friends well i can't say every i know i have tons of, of preacher friends who are very skilled in the word of god i mean they can teach the word of god okay so i'm always you know recommending that you go here you go there so um, if, if after speaking with your leader, you need some extra help in finding biblically sound resources from people who are integral, who walk in godly character, who are real about ministry, who are seasoned in the ministry, who are not novices, who won't just tell you anything, then hit me up and I'll try to get you some links, okay, to somewhere where you can uh, pull up some studies online and do some studies yourself, okay? Um, so let me see if I answer all of your questions. Why don't we see the teacher? I believe that, you know, the teaching ministry, as far as the office of the teacher, you know, yeah, you see apostle, uh, you see prophet, you see prophetess, you see pastor, you see evangelist sometimes. <laughs> And uh, you, you, but you, you don't always see people that's going by teacher so and so. But like Joyce Meyer, for instance, she says that she is definitely a teacher to the body of Christ, and I believe her. A lot of things she has taught. Of course, I don't agree with everything. Very rarely do agree with everything, but the Word of God. However, I believe she is a very good teacher. And there are many who have been given to the kingdom as teachers in the body of Christ. Now, many times pastors and teachers share the same type of mantle. Many pastors are very good teachers. Many evangelists are very good teachers as far as teaching salvation, teaching the word. Many prophets are excellent teachers concerning teaching others how to heal the voice of God and how to receive the things of the Spirit. And apostles definitely have to be good teachers when it comes to planning the church. So I believe teaching is one of those gifts and one of those offices that you may probably see another office, but yet um, they are teachers. Uh, I would like to think that I am a teacher. In fact, I believe uh, with godly confidence, godly confidence by His grace, that I am also a teacher. I've taught many courses in the Bible, um, um, served in school of ministry and various uh, type of learning things. And my degree is in theology. Um, so I love to teach the Word of God, even though you don't see teacher Stacy Woods. 
I am a teacher in the body of Christ. Okay, so that may be why you don't always see teacher. Okay, so I pray that that answers your question. Of course, you know that if you have any more questions, you can email me again. And I'm glad I uh, stopped the other video and re-recorded this one uh, as a separate video because we had a lot to talk about, didn't we? Okay, pray that all that are watching this, that you are blessed, that you're strengthened, that you're encouraged, that you're empowered to seek the Lord for the purpose for your life and what it is that he's called you to do in the earth. Amen. Above all, live holy, live saved, live a life that's pleasing the Lord. If you don't know what your exact purpose is and your exact calling is, you know for a fact that you've been called to be holy. You know for a fact that you've been called to be a saint. You know for a fact that you've been called to tell somebody of the good news of Jesus. Okay? So I want you to remember to enjoy Jesus and all his joys. And I want to thank each and every one of you for making ministry possible. For the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the evangelist, and the teacher, Stacy Woods. All right? Be blessed. Keep watching. I got more to talk to you about.